After days of searching, police got their man, 18-year-old Nicholas Dylan Jack, facing a slew of charges, including weapons charges and aggravated assault. A manhunt that spilled into a quiet beach neighborhood Thursday. Fifteen schools had to lock their doors, but police lost him. A tip would later lead them to this hotel near Warden and the 401, where he was arrested early this morning. Any type of gun violence, any type of violence, period, will not be tolerated. Police allege this fugitive is behind a string of violent crimes starting in February. Forced his way into an apartment. Uh, when he got into the apartment, he was armed with a gun. He took the firearm and hit the man over the head, causing a gash to his head. Then in late May, Dylan Jack allegedly stabbed another man inside this community center in Kensington Market. We just saw the guy coming down and um, on the bed, and uh, you can see the stab one. They were just saying, you know, you know, stop him, stop him, and you know, a couple guys ran down, and I think he ran through the alley. It was just there was quite a commotion. That same day, it's alleged he robbed a man of his cell phone in the Queen and Spadina area. He did not know the victim. Uh, there was absolutely no connection. He went up, approached the man, pointed the firearm, and robbed him of his cell phone. There are reports that link Dylan Jack to the Eaton Center shooting. It's believed that Dylan Jack, along with Christopher Husbands, the man charged in the shooting, belonged to a group known as the Sick Thugs out of Regent Park. Anthony Hutchinson works with youth and gangs and says it's nothing more than a music group, though some members are known to get into trouble. It's a sad commentary when it is still easier for a young person to get a gun than a job, even though our crime rate is on the decrease. We're here at Old City Hall where the accused made a brief court appearance late this afternoon. He stood with his head down and his back to us. He's in the process of retaining a lawyer and has been remanded into custody until his next court appearance later this month. And back to you. All right, from the downtown, thank you, Lama Nicola.